Situational awareness is so important when we ride. There are too many variables from behind us as well as in front of us to make us crash. We need to know what's all around us always. Let's face it, we are tiny objects on the road. We need to be proactive to optimize our safety. Vigilance, visibility, and vision 360 are key to EUC safety. When I first started the EUC nine years ago, I would just basically turn my head to see what's behind me. It was causing neck strain, as well as possibly causing me to lose balance with the repetitive 45 degree head turning. Another negative was that I had to momentarily take my eyes off the road to see what's behind me. My first rear view mirror attempt was about a year later. This is my DIY mirror. Basically, I fashioned this mirror taken out of a bike handlebar and I attached an elastic strap behind it for securement. I would just raise my hand, I would raise my left hand to see what's around me. Simple, effective, and it worked. However, I would sometimes misplace or forget about adding this gear. And sometimes I would also be afraid of the plastic hitting my, the back of my wrist if I got in an accident. The next one is a mirror by third eye. Basically, it's attached to your helmet and there's a long stick that protrudes with a mirror at the end. Marty had one of these too. Marty had an, actually an accident about a, a while back and the long stick mirror almost poked him in the eye. So that was a deterrent for me. I didn't like also the fact that the field of view was small and the stick, the slightest misalignment made me not have a good view. So I eventually stopped using it. The next one was the wrist mirror that I got off of AliExpress. It, has, it had a nice case that you could fold when not in use. It was decent. It was decent and provided good coverage, but sometimes I would forget to uh, put it on. And another thing, it was kind of bulky right next to my watch. I always have to move it around. So eventually I stopped using it also. Just, just about a month before I went to the Philippines, I bought this mirror that sells on, this sells on Facebook for $80 to $150. I got this off of AliExpress for $25, brother. It's the exact same setup. It's got a little goggle here, and it's got like a little mirror with a very small field of view. And trying to, to figure out exactly where your object is, I just, I thought it was very cumbersome. I didn't like it. It was kind of flimsy. No good. So when I finally went to the Philippines, I met with this general surgeon, an EUC rider, who uses his Sherman S to go to work when he's on call and he doesn't even use a car. Anyway, I actually interviewed him. If you're curious, you should check out my interview, uh, interview with EUC rider in the Philippines. So this mirror has to be convex to make it work. It's attached with an elastic strap right in the top, and it's actually very secure. So when you purchase this mirror, the strap comes with it, and it provides a really good, strong grip. You don't have to worry about a long stick poking you in the eye. You don't have to worry about forgetting to put it on, because it's always there. So you just put it on, and you're set. I have a perfect view already. It's a great setup. I love it. So let's see. Using this gadget, I'm going to put it in the middle of my eye and I hope to show exactly what I, to show you the viewers what I see. 
I can see everything on my left side. And hopefully you can see it. I'm gonna move a little more to the right to see if you can see the Belgium blocks. I can see the Belgium blocks. And I have a lot of view when I turn my head. So we have great range of view with this setup. Now comes the real test on the road. Will the simple securement using the supplied rubber attachment be enough to keep the oval mirror secure and immobile during at speed riding? Will I be able to see an oncoming car from behind early enough? Well, let's play a game. As soon as I see a car on my rear view, I will make this gesture with my right hand. Let the test begin. It was at this point that I spotted the snowbank up ahead. I could tell immediately that there was an oncoming car behind me. Slow down, I decided to speed up and pass the snowbank before the car came too close. I was careful to avoid a possible pedal clip. Great thanks to the mirror for the early heads up of the car. This DIY has much wider range of view, minimal head turning needed to see, less time taken away to see what's up ahead. Always be with your helmet so you won't forget about it. No need to take up room on your wrist. Shorter attachment leads to less risk of eye injury in a crash. Great job, Henry, on the DIY mirror helmet. This is the best one I have ever seen. So, thanks for watching, and until next time.